uma operação de envergadura, como a do Hamas, que permitiu a dezenas de militantes armados entrar em território israelita para cometer um massacre, exige uma logística excepcional. Para o analista Just Ilterman, foi um ato de guerra analógico num mundo em que pensamos em termos de guerra digital. We have to keep in mind, we're talking about a very low level of, uh, of sophistication when it comes to um, uh, military hardware. In the end, what did they use? They used some hang gliders, powered hang gliders. Well, they, you can get them on the open market. <coughs> they used regular uh, rifles and uh, you know, small arms. Uh, they used motorcycles and pickup trucks. They used some drones and explosives. And of course, they fired rockets, but most of the rockets are not sophisticated. A responsabilidade pelo ataque do Hamas também está em questão. Muitos consideram que foi apoiado pelo Irão. O diretor da Segurança Internacional da Fundação Ásia Pacífico é um deles. Que Arão nega qualquer envolvimento, mas as suspeitas apontam nessa direção. Along with the sheer ferocity of imagination, the scale of it preventing any leakage of information. Uh, so you also have to factor in that Hamas has got a lot of support, uh, tactical, strategic, and financial backing from Iran, who have been able to operate in many ways uh, in various guises around the world. So Hamas may be taking a leaf out of Iran's book. There should be no doubt that one of the motivations behind the Hamas operation was to prevent normalization of ties between Saudi Arabia and Israel. Now, the Biden administration appeared to be close to brokering a normalization of ties between Israel and Saudi Arabia, which Iran strongly opposed.